That was some terrific action. Let's go back to US 30. Look at the prices here. Four bucks to get in, five bucks for your crew member. Unbelievable. Going to the 19, early 1970s, Mr. Chevrolet Championships. The big funny car race at US 30. Nothing but Chevys today. There's to Professor Kelly Chadwick. And there's the young man, Phil Raphael, talking to his all-time favorite drag racer. Get that autograph, Phil. Kelly Chadwick, the school teacher from Amarillo, Texas. Doing a great job with the kids as usual. Here's Wild Man, Bobby Woods out of Alabama. Look at that wild 1970 Chevy Nova. Here's Kelly Chadwick with a smoky burnout out of his 70 Camaro. He was one of the top Chevy funny car pilots of this or any era. But right here, Bobby Wood gets the big hole shot. Oh, man, and getting out of shape on the top end. Some smoke from Kelly. Looks like Bobby Wood held him off. A little bit too close to call. Coming up next... It's the Blue Meanie. Do you remember the Yellow Submarine movie and song by the uh, Beatles? The Blue Meanie. Look at the little characters on the side of the door. It's an A funny car, injected. And obviously uh, one of the film takers' favorites. Good looking Chevrolet Vega. The Blue Meanie moving out at US 30 Drag Strip right there near Chicago, Illinois. A lot of great match race action at US 30. We're going to bring you a lot more as the Mr. Chevrolet Funny Car Championships continue on. Here's a little close-up of the Blue Meanie, John Kelly, the driver, looking mighty spiffy in that white driving suit. Good-looking machine, a little bit of an Amco transmission sponsorship, and there's Phil moving up slowly. Can I get this autograph? Can I do it? We really want to thank Phil for providing us this footage. Great stuff from the heartland in the early 70s. Here's Professor Kelly Chadwick, not much up on top, kind of like your announcer tonight. Kind of like your producer as well. Anybody who knows Ray Ray and Bill? Kelly Chadwick with the big injected blown Chevrolet motor. Getting ready to go. Chadwick, one of the top uh, Chevrolet drag racers throughout history. He raced pro stocks and funny cars. Here he is again, flying through the top end, but someone went through first. Who was that? Bobby Wood. Up next is the Dickie Harold Vega. Now, we had to do a little research to figure that out, but you look at the chrome trim rings, and thanks to Howdy for that uh, tip, and the red top, and the, it says Vega on the front spoiler. Our best guess is that is the Dickie Harold car, but obviously had a little bit of an altercation with a guardrail somewhere and some primer gray paint on the side. He's lined up against the professor, and here they go. Coming up next, a couple more terrific Chevy-powered funny cars. And just a bit uh, before the point where the Chrysler Hemi started taking over, there's Dick Burgoyce, the beautiful L.A.-based machine. He's taking on the Mike Burkhart car. Back when funny cars had real bodies on them, looking great. Mike Burkhart's machine has Mart Higginbotham at the wheel. A tough Texas fuel funny car team. They raced for years and years. We're always one of the top machines in the sport. Off they go. A little bit of head action there from the spectators. Makes it difficult to see who won that race. Coming up next, Tim Beebe, the great-looking fighting Irish Camaro, taking on Bobby Wood. Wood, one of the fastest Chevrolet-powered funny cars in history. He put his uh, Chevy Vega into the 640s. We'll get to see that car in a little while. But there they go. A little too close to call. Here's a wild front-engine dragster from the era. And some top-end shots. Kelly Chadwick. And he's leading the Mike Burkhardt car through the lights. Here comes the Fighting Irish at top speed. Zooming through the top end. And he's beating the Dickie Harrell Vega. Up next, you got to watch fast, folks. There's Bobby Wood. Oh, my. And Mike Burkhart side by side. Getting some great shots in the pits here. Oh, man, who is this? Bruce Larson, the USA 1, Mr. Chevrolet. And there's Bobby Wood. We're a little bit later now in the 70s, the Bobby Wood Vega. 
will be taking on Mr. Larson and the rest of the crew shortly. Goodness me, look at that. A transporter where the funny car rested on the back. Here's a couple of good-looking local pro stock cars making their way down the track. Look at them bounce up in the front end with those four speeds. Unbelievable. You don't see four speeds anymore. There goes another Nova on a single shot. And up next, it's the funny cars. Outstanding burnouts. Looks like Al Burglar and the Motown Shaker taking on Bobby Wood. The great canard wings on the Motown Shaker. Those were outlawed a few years later. You can uh, bet if one of those got out of shape and uh, started going at a different angle that it was all over. There's the Fighting Irish once again and Flash Gordon Minio out of Texas. Mr. Tim Beebe doing the job here. Flash Gordon Minio, uh, Minio one of the best match race funny car drivers of all time and looks like he's a little bit ahead of the Fighting Irish here. Too close to call. Up next, the Dragon Vega. That's Mart Higginbotham out of Texas. Taking on the incredible USA 1 Camaro of Bruce Larson. And a huge hole shot for the Dragon Vega. A little bit too hazy to tell at the top end who won that match. There goes the uh, transporters. It looks like Phil's older brother, I'm guessing. What the heck? You got me on film. Here's an up-close look at the Flash Gordon Vega and the USA 1 towing back through the pits. Some great smoky burnouts. We're taking a look from about half track right here. It's USA 1 blowing somebody away. Man, these funny cars get to go in about 220 at the top end. It's awful hard to see what's going on. Some more good burnouts. And here comes the Fighting Irish. Oh, man, a huge victory. As his opponent suffers troubles, that's Al Burglar in the Motown Shaker. You get to check out some of the 1970s fashions. Looking pretty good there. And more incredible burnouts. Look at the smoke just lay a fog bank down on the crowd. And a single run. And Bobby Woods, Alabama B Vega blows through the traps. Here's Brother Mike. Man, I was so fast I had to comb my hair. Messed my hair up, man. Hey. Packing the chute back in the pits, getting ready for another blast. That's Flash Gordon Minio and his lovely assistant. Pack them in tight. Usually only used about one shoot at the match races. Didn't really need to drive into both of them. But they were there if you needed them. Roll a good year out. Check out the Halibrands. Wow. Al Burglar's Motown Shaker. Funny car maintenance circa 1971 or 72. There's Flash Gordon with a big burnout. And he's off. Man, he whole shot of the cameraman. Bobby Wood. The incredible Alabama Vega. And Bruce Larson's USA 1. Wood, eventually one of the quickest Chevy funny cars in history, going into the 640s with that machine. Here's the Dragon car of Mart Higginbotham taking on the Motown Shaker of Al Burglar. And it is close. Looks like Burglar gets it. There's the Hawaiian. Holy cow, who was driving that thing? And Claire Sanders and the Ram Chargers, two cars that had about 18 drivers between them over a period of about three years. The telltale candy-striped top of the Ram Chargers car, always a trademark. And the Hawaiian car, uh, certainly, without a doubt, one of the top funny cars in the history of the sport as Roland Leong wrenched it. And many, many, many drivers drove it. Big, big burnouts by the machines. Mopar Madness. Looks like the Ram Chargers got this one with a hole shot. Mr. Sanders. 
There's Gene Snow, the beautiful Ravel Snowman car, and Don Schumacher's Stardust Cuda. This looks like the Mopar Funny Car Championships. At least that's the body style of choice so far. And away they go. A little bit of smoke out of the Stardust car, and Snow gets there first. Here's Chris Caramassini's The Chiseler, also known as the Golden Greek. Just a peek at him before a couple more funny cars take off. He's back there on the roll start device. Holy cow, haven't seen rollers in a long time. And he will take on the Spirit Machine. Check out this unique rear engine dragster. The wing mounted right over the engine as opposed to back over the rear slicks like most of the rear engine cars of the day. You have to remember at this point, about 1971 or 1972, Don Garlitz had just come out with a successful rear engine design. So these guys are moving fast. And the Spirit gets one run over the Golden Greek. The Hawaiian once again against Schumacher, and Schumacher gets two in a row. Had to go back and check that wind light just to be sure. And a big smoky burnout as the fuel funny cars come to US 30. And the Super Shoe, Don Schumacher, takes out the snowman. Here come the top fuel cars once again, and the unique spirit car unbelievably takes two straight matches over the Greek. That is unusual. The Greek usually does not lose in Chicago. And 2,500 horsepower side-by-side -side blast off once again as the last pair of funny cars take off down the strip in this exciting US 30 match race. And the top fuel cars one more time with, believe it or not, the spirit car. You saw it right here, folks taken three straight against the Golden Greek. Man, US 30 drag strip in Gary, Indiana. What a terrific match race track. Film edited by Ray English and Derek Ryan. Film provided by John Yelkic, Phil Raphael, Phil transfer by Mike Gogi. Special thanks to Bob Starks, Howdy Hoffman, Ray Gramlich, Bill Pratt, Maria English, David Doctrow, Jack Redd, Larry Vesperman.